In this video, I will show you how to change your IP address in DNS on Mac OS. This is applicable to any Mac operating system. Let's begin. Open the system settings. Go to network. I'm currently connected to two networks. I'm using LAN and also Wi-Fi. For the LAN or Ethernet cable, I'm using this USB Type-C to RJ45 converter since MacBooks doesn't have RJ45 Ethernet port. I'll show you first how to change the Wi-Fi IP address and DNS and then we will change the LAN IP address and DNS afterwards. Click on the Wi-Fi to select. Choose details. You can see that we are currently connected to this Wi-Fi network or SSID. Now, choose the TCP IP. Notice that by default, it's currently set to DHCP. Below are the current IP settings. The IP address, subnet mask and router or the default gateway. Now, let's change the IP address. Under configure IPv4. Click on using DHCP. Choose manually because we are going to manually assign our preferred IP address. I'll give you a tip. If you want to change the IP address but still on the same network then you need to check if the IP address you prefer to use is available or not currently in used by other device. We can do this by opening the terminal. Assuming I want to use 192.168.0.100. If the result is request timeout then it means the IP address is available to use. Let's try to ping 192.168.0.2 or the gateway since we know it's already in use. You can see that we received some response. Means we cannot use that IP address or else we will encounter some issues. We will now proceed to use 192.168.0.100 since we verified it's available to use. Again, make sure to change the option to manually. Now, under IP address, we will enter the IP address 192.168.0.100. We can leave the subnet mask and router or default gateway IP address as it is since we just want to change the IP address but still on the same network. If in case you want to change to different network then you can change the IP address, subnet mask and the router IP addresses but make sure to assign the correct ones to avoid issues. Click OK to save the changes. Now, if we click on details again, we can now see the new settings configured. Next is the DNS or domain name system. This is very important. Make sure to set your DNS if you just changed your IP address. If you did not set your DNS then this device cannot access the internet. Notice that it shows that no DNS servers because by default, if you change the IP address mode to manually then also the DNS will follow. To add a new DNS, tick on the plus sign. Now enter your preferred DNS IP address. If you don't have internal DNS then we can use the public DNS. We can enter the Google primary DNS which is 8.8.8.8. .8 we need to add more DNS servers, if in case the primary fails then the other DNS will take over. We can add the Cloudflare primary DNS which is 1.1.1.1. We can add multiple DNS if we prefer. To delete an entry. Simply click on it to select and then tick the minus sign to remove or delete. Click OK to save the changes. We have now successfully changed the IP address and also the DNS. Next is we will change my LAN IP address. Same process, we will choose the LAN adapter. You can see the current TCP IP settings and DNS from here. I'm thinking to use 10.100.100.100 so for me to verify I will open the terminal and then try to ping it. Notice that it has no response or request timeout so it means, it's available to use. Now, go to details. Go to TCP IP. Change the mode to manually. We will enter the preferred IP address which is 10.100.100.100. Again, Leave the subnet and router or default IP address as it is. Click OK to save the changes. Again, we need also to change the DNS IP address. We will use the public DNS which is 8.8.8.8 and 1.1.1.1. You can use other public DNS if you prefer. Click OK to save the changes. You can now see the newly configured IP settings and also the DNS. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. 
If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.